Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're back on Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're going to continue our Rise of the Empire campaign. I, I actually don't really remember how long this campaign is. I just know you go from the Clone Wars to the Empire, but I don't know how far into it. The war was almost over. The galaxy held its breath, waiting to see which side would make the final daring move. As fortune would have it, the Republic moved first. After the Chancellor informed the Jedi Council that General Grievous and the Sep leaders were hiding on Utapal, General Kenobi gathered an army large enough to capture three star systems. When the orders reached the 501st, our morale soared. For better or worse, this would be the beginning of the end. Alrighty then. There is a two-story building just a bit southwest of your position. Assault that command post. Take out that sniper! Take him down! Yo, why did it start us with only 15 troops? That ain't even fair. Trust them, so I'm just keep an eye out down there. Why is that mine right there? That good? why? There is a CP further down the highway. Clear any enemies on the highway and secure the area. I like how this is a highway. Trooper scared me. Old habits never leave. I don't have to touch any of those droids. I can just run right by them and hop up here, and they don't even notice. Well done. Now secure Hangar Ten, and we'll send in a dropship to back you up. General Obi Wan has landed on this level. He should be able to help you, troopers, quite a bit. Stay alive, Obi Wan. Just capture the pose that you're supposed to. By the force, General Grievous is stationed in Hangar 10. Take him out before he wipes out. Come here, shithead. What? Come on, man. I ain't how the movie went. <laughs> I know how to kill him now. I got this shit. The explosives. Spawn in my face. This is my command pose, not yours, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm gonna sit right here because they're not shooting at me. Don't mind me. <laughs> He's still right in front of me. That was great. Hey. <laughs> that droid stood right in front of my rocket. Stand by for heavy support unit, soldier. Tanks are incoming. Now, soldier, destroy that energy tower. Bro, why, why is it all destroying stuff? Is that all we're good for now is blowing stuff up?
Bro, am I too close to it? Why can't I tell I'm doing any damage to it? Yeah, I was too close, that's why. I'm one shot. There it is. There it is. at the hands of General Kenobi, the Utapau raid had broken the back of the Separatists. Under normal circumstances, it would have been a time for celebration. <clears throat> but our next orders put paid to those thoughts. I only had 12 kills that one, just because it was quick and easy. Oh. Of Order 66. Time to kill everybody. Y'all done. Y'all done. Y'all gone. We gotta fucking get what killed. What I remember about the rise of the Empire is, is how quiet it was. During the waning hours of the Clone Wars, the 501st Legion was discreetly transferred back to Coruscant. It was a silent trip. We all knew what was about to happen, what we're about to do. Did we have any doubts? Any private traitorous thoughts? Perhaps, but no one said a word. Not on the flight to Coruscant. Not when Order 66 came down. And not when we marched into the Jedi Temple. Not a word. Lord Vader. Tonight the fall of the Jedi is at hand. We have been directed by the highest authority to wipe out the insurgent Jedi Order that threatens our great empire. <laughs> to the council chamber. Lord Vader will be our field commander. Let's keep the chair alone and move out. Uh oh. Oh. Oof. This is a tough pot. In this one, when you got all the lightsabers around, yeah. It's just rebels right here. That's what they remind me of. Oh, clone. Sorry, dude. My bad. Attention, troops. Double time to the library. The Jedi are attempting to destroy the library's hollow box. In direct defiance of command. Stop them. Oof, ouch. Fuck me up good on that one.
stupid. Efficient. Your next objectives are a pair of holocrons, rumored to contain the sum of sin and Jedi knowledge. The first one is located on the comm room. Retrieve it and bring it to the veranda. Excuse me. Sometimes AI, I know it's an old game, so it, oh wow, I ran right into him. <laughs> I'm gonna get a jet trooper this time, I think that'd be a better idea for me. Oh yeah. How? He's chasing me. <laughs> the force is strong with me. Excellent progress. With the last of the holocron secured, we can deal with the remainder of the Jedi. What? Bro, that's such bullshit. Come on, man. Minds of their impressionable students against the Empire. Let them bear witness to the cost of rebellion. Come on, I just spawned again. It's every time I spawn, all that dude does is throw a blue double sided lightsaber. Bro, knock it off. I'm very pissed right now. <laughs> Bro, come on, guys. Shoot the fucker. Jesus. I shouldn't have to do it all by myself. This is absolutely ridiculous. Alright, Pomp, the old school clone. Alright, well, I didn't work either. Am I, like, the only one trying here? I got all these clones. Oh, okay, I just spawned. He throws a sword. Okay, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh, see, look it. I spawn, he throws it. At least he threw it on his own teammate that time. That helped me out. See, look, he's just throwing it. Every two seconds, he throws the damn thing. Haha, <laughs> fucker. That pissed me off. Fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <sighs> With the fall of Coruscant and the elimination of the traitorous Jedi, Palpatine's rise to power was complete. In recognition of our service and loyalty to the Emperor, the 501st were placed under the direct command of Lord Vader. Armed with deadly new weapons, blazing new ships, and shiny new armor, our presence let the galaxy know that the days of the Old Republic were well and truly over. We were establishing a new era, an era of order and peace. The Death Star. Ba -ba.
Nice. Alright, now we're going to Naboo. And our first actual mission as the Empire. Now we're no longer clone troopers. During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change. A change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple. To infiltrate the city, take out their leader. Sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Alright, let's do it. Welcome to the capital city of Feed. Tonight, we will be performing a radical destabilization of the Feed government by the elimination of that Queen. She is heavily guarded in the central plaza by a group of Jedi and an auto turret group. In order to defeat these defenses, we must set up a perimeter around the central plaza and shut down the auto turret grid. Careful, soldier. Your numbers are few, and the mission's success rests on your shoulders. Ah! Fuck! Is that the fog gun? Alrighty then. Now it's on to the Embassy Plaza. Move out. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still online. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret grid. Whoops. Oh, that's to my right. Damn you. Stay away. You shoot. So far, so good. Now capture the guard post past the embassy. If you need some extra firepower, we've managed to sneak a tank to you at the embassy command Get out of here, man. I want you guys fucking around my command post and shit. All the spots that enemies are supposed to be. Take out that turret. Uh oh.
I know I did. What the fuck, man? I fucked that up big time. I don't know why I said I know I did. I don't know, about, I don't know why I said that for. Guys, keep playing the objective like that for some reason. I need this. Hey, come here. This up and get that stupid thing. We're almost out of reinforcements. Die. You have performed a great service to the Empire. The Queen's death will serve as an example to other nascent rebellions, saving countless lives. Oof, one, one left. time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government but it wouldn't be the last within months the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's fist all right I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys all in the next one.